narcissists and money. Money is a source of power and control, which is two of the main things a narcissist is looking for. Narcissists want to be in control. They want to be able to direct and influence your behavior and the course of events. You will usually be the one who is financially responsible for them. But yet they will want to make all of the financial decisions. But of course, if they ever receive any money, they're not going to let you decide what they do with that because they hold you to a different set of standards than they do for themselves. Even if the narcissist does have money, you will find that you are still paying for everything. When you are dealing with a narcissist, you will always be financially responsible. They will be heavily dependent on you for everything. They will try to move in with you as quickly as they can. They will drain all of your resources. You will be paying for all of the bills. All of the luxuries that the narcissist desires. while being told that you don't do anything. They will gaslight you. They will sow seeds of doubt in you, making you question your own memory, perception and judgment. They will say that you are controlling. They will say that you have all of the money. You make all of the decisions. and they're not happy about it. They don't like being dependent on you. They want to be the ones that are in control, but often they just can't help it. And this causes them to become very resentful towards you because no matter what you do for them, they will always feel like they are being treated unfairly. Nothing is enough for the narcissist. They will always want more. They will never be satisfied. Narcissists have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. They believe they have a right to something. They believe that you owe them a living. You may be doing all of the work. You may be sacrificing all of your time and energy to make the money. But the narcissist doesn't understand the value of money. And they don't care that you might have your own preferences or needs. In their minds, it's all about them and they believe they have a right to your money. They believe they deserve to have whatever they want at your expense. So they will sit back and watch you struggle to meet their demands and expectations. But whether the narcissist has money or not, they will still expect you to do it all. Narcissists are not good with money. They don't know how to manage it. And that is why they never have anything in their savings account. They're impulsive. They're addicted to shopping because it makes them feel better about themselves. 
it masks their insecurities and feelings of insignificance. So they will just spend it all thinking that it's going to make them feel better. But no matter how much they spend, it never satisfies their cravings. If you don't put limitations on the narcissist, they will spend every last penny you've got. They don't understand limitations. Because as a child, they either never had any money or they were spoiled by their parents. They were given whatever they wanted just so their parents could keep them off their case. Which is why the narcissist comes across like an overgrown spoiled child. They will nag and criticize you regardless of the circumstances. There will be a source of constant pressure. They will harass you constantly to do something that you don't want to do. They always have to get their way. They always have to get what they want. And if they don't, they will sulk. They will give you the silent treatment. Or they will get very angry and start trying to cause problems for you. Whatever they think will make you give in and fulfill their demands. They are bullies. They habitually seek to harm or intimidate those who they perceive as being vulnerable. They seek to coerce you into doing what they want. Narcissists at their issues with money comes from trauma that they've experienced in childhood. They were either neglected or spoiled by their parents and the narcissist never dealt with these issues. They don't self-reflect. They don't look at themselves and think that maybe their behavior is the problem. It's an addiction. Many narcissists are addicted to drugs, alcohol, gambling, video games, shopping or sex. And these addictions cost money. So this is where all of their money goes. This is why they never save any money. Many narcissists are high maintenance and spend ridiculous amounts of money on cars or clothes. So it's impossible for them to save anything. Some of them will spend the cost of a house in this stuff. And yet they will have nowhere to live. They will be living in someone else's home or trying to move in with you. They don't understand the concept of money. They just use it to satisfy their addictions. Because their addictions are very important to them. Which is why they would rather spend their money on that rather than something more valuable and meaningful like a house. Because their addictions are another source of supply for them. It gives them comfort. It helps to relieve their stress and emotional pain. They will do anything to avoid introspection. To avoid examining or observing their own mental and emotional processes. They will just do drugs or drink alcohol or play a video game or go shopping. They always have something to distract themselves from themselves.
when you give a narcissist money, they will often use it for things that are unfavorable for you, things that you don't approve of. Maybe you're paying for their phone bill and all they do is gossip about you to their family or friends. You are the one who has to fund that. You are the one who has to fund all of their addictions. And yet they will still turn around and act like you're not good enough. They will tell you that you need to do more. They never look at themselves and think that the reason why you need to do more is because they're not doing enough or because they can't be satisfied. When you are dealing with a narcissist, everything will be your fault. Everything will be your problem. And they may even try to hold you responsible for their addictions. It's a way for them to project their flaws onto you. All narcissists have some form of addiction. They all have issues with money. They have an excessive appetite and desire for money. They will show an intense and selfish desire for wealth and power. Which is why they will get married. Which is why they will try to fight for custody of the children. They will fight for alimony. They will fight for child support. They will fight for ownership over your money, possessions or property. Things that they don't deserve. No matter how much you give to them, they will always want more and more. Whatever you have built for yourself, they will always find a way to run it into the ground while blaming you and act like you cause your own demise. In many situations, they will even steal from you. They will take your money or possessions without your knowledge or approval. And they will later gaslight you and say that you said it was okay. They will commit fraud. They will evade their taxes. There's nothing they won't do to get money, even if they already have it. They have a strong sense of entitlement. They look at it like why should they spend their money when they could spend your money? Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.